where would you choose to live if you could only choose one place in the UK? <laughs> the Lake District. The Lake District, I think, yes. Um, but we've also, like, Anglesey. Yeah, I mean, um, we talked about Anglesey for a while, didn't we? Um, like the Dales. Like the Dales here. Yorkshire we're, Dales. We're here, there now. But we're here, there now. We're there now. No, I've always said, and I've never lived there, that get into the Lake District and I feel like I'm home. So I think it would be the Lake District. Would be the Lakes, I think, yes. Because there's everything we, we like there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think be... Probably the Lake District, somewhere in the Lake District. Uh, when we see you driving, it is almost always Keith driving. Is there a reason for that? We both like driving. We do like driving. Um, and it just... I don't know, really. I think... I got more nervous. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it stems back from when Dar Darrell had his... Uh, drinking problem. Um, obviously in those days I did all the driving um, <coughs> up and down to New Mills from Nottingham. I'd pick him up and then we'd go the other way when Daryl moved down to Nottingham we'd go back to see the kids. kids. You'd take to see the kids. Um, and me, basically it was easy for me to drive because Daryl was... Well I didn't have a license. I didn't license. have a license to start with. <laughs> but um, when I got my license back he still yeah, liked doing just, it. Just, yeah. Because you'd see the kids it. as well. Yeah. You? But, and then we saw that bad accident. Yes. That really put me off. We saw a, a motorcyclist who overtook Fatality. us, and um, he had, he crashed into a cyclist, and he died. And we were first on the scene, so you went over to him, didn't mm. you? But I got very nervous for quite a while after that, and I would tense up every time a motorcycle was near us, either coming towards us or overtaking us. And to be honest, I backed off for quite a while, mm. didn't I? Mm. And I keep thinking I must do more driving. I'm, quite happy at home mm. and I'll drive the car I'll drive the Land Rover this the van I'm more nervous in and I shouldn't be because I I drove this size of vehicle when I work for social services so it's not that I'm you know, to be fair we both like driving and I don't mind no, no. driving so uh, favourite rich monkey meal We've concocted so many things now, <laughs> yeah. a lot of things you haven't seen. I think the pizza that we did. Yes, yeah. That worked right, really well, right, didn't it? The, the camp. Yeah. 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 So, yes, pizza. I think yeah. that really worked yeah. well. Um, so, surprised. I mean, we surprised ourselves there. We've uh, got the bigger, it's not a Ridge Monkey, but we've got the bigger pan now. So we've got to try a few different things in that as well, haven't we? So, but I think we'll try pizza in there at some point. But yeah, pizza worked well. We fancy break, uh, make, trying a, a sponge cake at some stage as well. Yeah. That's going to be fun. And some bread. And bread. Hello. Don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Have you ever been recognised anywhere from having your channel? <laughs> a few times now. A few times. Um, um, Scotland. 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 Scotland was the first one. We saw a van parked up, a camper van, and I said to Keith, I said, I bet that's a nice one. It just looked nice from the outside, didn't it? I bet that's a nice camper van. I'm going to go knock on the door. And ask whether we can film it. And this was right up at uh, the real top end of Scotland, John at, Gross, uh, John Gross and Wick, that area. Uh, and I knocked on the door, and the door opened, and I said, "Excuse me." He went, "It's Daryl from Camper Van Tales, isn't it?" <laughs> he didn't let us film the van, no, but, <laughs> but he recognised us. And then the last, latest time, we were we were in Tesco um, a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Our local Tesco, yeah. And. Uh, Somebody, we were just at the che self checkout. And somebody walked past and said, "It's Daryl. It's Keith. Oh my goodness!" And we had a real good chat in the middle of Tesco. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching. Yes, so, uh, <laughs> and it was, it was. I mean, they were. They. Were, oh, she was. She was local to us, but it was nice to uh, to hear some of the comments. And it's uh, nice to meet people. It is but, nice. Uh, we like meeting people, yeah, like we said like before. before. So, um, yeah. But yeah, it was. It was nice. To, for, and it, we appreciate people. Actually, uh, at the end of the day, it's nice to know that people, people watch, watch us. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though we always get a thumbs down, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever been to a ruin that has made you feel spooked? And what is your favourite ruin that you've visited? Um, not any not, that I can think of that's made me feel spooked. Spooked? Or... No. Um, I think one of the favourite ones that we've done 
recently was the uh, I'm going to get this wrong. The Heg Hal 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 I think that was really because it was it was down and in the, in some tunnels, and then we saw some bats, so that made it yeah. quite quite yeah. Uh, special. Um, um, but have we, each no. each one has its own. Yeah, I mean, thing, you, know. you can call them ruins. Of, you, I don't know whether they are ruins or not. Some of the latest videos that you've seen of the castles down in Cornwall, they they've been good, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. and the church that we did. Locally, yeah, um, yeah, with so, the drone. So yeah, oops, yeah. <laughs> Bay's just not the water. Um, no, nothing, none of us made us feel spooked. But uh, and it's difficult to to say which is our favourite. Um, what's what's the one that's you'll have seen this probably for the one that's going up tomorrow? Resmeral Castle. Resmeral Castle. That's that's is a nice castle. That's a really nice castle. Um, but even just going down to when we first started the Cornish. And there was, we were at the wind farm, and there was a, an ancient stone yeah, locally, stone, stone, and that, that's all it was—a yeah. massive stone. But it's had some history. Yeah. We like history, as you might yeah, almost prehistory. So, uh, yeah, anything like that. Can you give your opinions on the recent DV, DVLA changes to motor home, motor caravan conversion rules? This Don't. sounds very selfish, but I'm glad that we got ours done so before early. we changed. Um, I, I don't know why they're trying to be awkward or change the rules. I'm very cynical that it's to do with revenue in the, at the end of the day, and it's, it's going to be a long process before things change again, and it, they'll, they'll end up getting money out of us to do it. Um, I just can't see it because just, we've. I think we said before, uh, one of our friends, and it's it's Kev, uh, wandering Womble. wandering Womble. He's asked. They've gone actually to the police and asked them for their opinions, and the police don't give a, a damn fig. basically <laughs> um, uh, what it's registered as because they just put the number plate in and it, all the details come up. Um, it just seems and the DVLA saying it's all to do with the police. You know, it, it just seems a cop out. I don't know. Just... Well, I, don't, I, don't, I can't see what the difference is between a motor caravan, as this is classed as. Now, why they changed it to a van with windows? Mm. It's it just seems yeah. It just mm. seems daft, and mm. I think there's more Pedantic. to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the fact they're getting so awkward at uh, mm. actually, you know, mm. reclassifying. Reclassifying now is. But, yeah. I mean, we we want to make another slight change on our um, registration because we're down for class N, class and N we want to do M, to we? N, or the other way around. But I'm reluctant to send it in in case they suddenly say, "Oh, well, yes, we'll change everything." Um, change. It, I mean, it doesn't I don't change know. a lot for us because it, it means we can go a little bit faster, a little bit faster on the motorway. Um, we can well, do 60, no. 70 rather than 60. It's, it's on the main roads. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, right. You can do 60 instead of 50. Right. But, but yeah. to be honest, we don't go that fast anyway because we like seeing what we're driving past or towards or from. <laughs> is there somewhere in the country that you wouldn't go back to? And if so, for what reasons? Sorry, sorry if you're from there, Wick. <laughs> um, I don't strong. think there's anywhere I wouldn't go back no. to. Um, there's a lot of more places that I'd like to go and see, so that might prevent us going back to mm. certain places. But I don't think no, there's nowhere I can think of that we really would Wick, say. Wick was, Wick a, bit was a bit of a toy. Yeah, but we that was on a on, on a long road trip, mm. so you know we didn't. We didn't stay there. Stay there, did we? So I don't know, but no, well, no. I mean, we go back to Wales. We go back to Anglesey, the Lake District, the Dales, Cornwall, mm. and as I say, there's a lot of places we haven't been. We so, don't. We've not really done Devon, have we? Uh, no, we've not done a lot of the no that coast or well, the Jurassic Coast, yeah. New Forest, Weymouth. Like, there's, loads Weymouth. <laughs> there's loads of places we want to go. We yeah. just need to make Keith retire. <laughs> 
but I need to work to put the diesel in. Uh, which is your favourite type of destination? Country, countryside or coast? I haven't got a favourite. No, I like them both. I like them both. Um, for different reasons. It's nice. We like to get in the sea, so we like to have a swim. Um, the dogs like the coast. Dogs the like dogs the like the countryside. Um, I think, for obvious reasons now, I'm airing towards the countryside a little bit more. Because you're walking Because I'm walking more again now, um, which is something that, as I said to Keith the other day, I've had ten wasted years at least of not walking for various reasons. The alcohol problems and then my weight as well so yeah I think at the moment when I look for where we're going to go it's mostly countryside but having said that the sea's calling as well it is and um, it's nice to have a uh, bit at the seaside when um, the weather's fine <laughs> but, I mean Cornwall was ideal yeah. because we we had obviously went around the coast but we had the countryside in inland if we wanted it and the beaches and the, the coves to explore as well so Cornwall had a bit of everything and, and it was quiet time here the yeah. schools had gone back after the summer holidays and but so we were very fortunate with the sun we were with the weather I don't know what it's going to be like this year to be honest now I don't know with the coronavirus at the moment I don't know I mean there's going to be a lot more people holidaying in this country if they can so I don't know whether that's going to make us feel more hemmed in at play for places or well, I think we're, we're whatever it is a lot of the um, tourists will be school holidays anyway yeah which we try and avoid we, we, we try and avoid en anyway so yeah um, you must be mad having four dogs it must stink in your van I'm oh, mad that a boring <laughs> boring, <laughs> boring comment of it um, we're not mad we like our dogs. We've had a smaller camper van. We had an old Talbot Rambler, and we had four dogs in that. So, as a, as regard the stink, well, you know, obviously when we get four wet dogs, it does smell perhaps a little bit. But majority of the time, the windows or the doors open, and it's you know we've got any fresh air around. You're a bit offended by that question, aren't you? The dogs tend not to be on the on the seats. Oh, you're getting spoiled tonight, aren't you? Um, um, but so they're on the floor. They're not on the bed. So the, the furnishings aren't um, don't smell of dog. I don't think. And if you if you're talking about smells from the other end, we feed them dried food, um, and that doesn't well. It's dried until we put well. Water it, in we it. put water in it, yeah. But it doesn't. You, it's a muesli base. It doesn't food affect them. No. Don't give you the trumps, does it? This, this is first day of the holiday and you're already <laughs> tired. Oh, good boy. Now that you're doing more walking videos, will the camp camper van videos die off? No. 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 Um, it's we, we like doing them both. We like looking we we're nosy. We like looking around other people's camper vans. And we've still got things to tell you about this van and, and things that I mean the cooking videos will be Alteration, alterations occasionally, um, not too many, but little little jobs that need doing. So we'll still do videos about that, won't we? And mm. Are we boring you? <laughs> yeah, no, they won't finish. No, no. we are camper van sales, and, and we'll tell you tales mm. about the camper van. Does out Daryl ever know where he is? <laughs> no, never. Uh, right, since I've known Daryl, it's oh well, well, we'll go here. And, but it's only about that far on the map, but it could be 100 miles. No idea exactly where it, anything is. Um, do you agree? Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm useless. I don't know. I don't know how I used to survive before sat now. <laughs> be honest. I don't. I really don't. No, I don't. <laughs> but it's, it's a running joke now, anyway. You must. Uh, you spend a fortune on coffee. Wouldn't it be cheaper just to have it in your van or take a flask if you're out and about? It would. It would, but we don't drink. No. So we're not spending loads of money on alcohol. Um, and it's nice to sit and... We people watch. Yeah, yeah, we do people watch. 
and it's just nice to sit in and yeah. have a different it's, environment. And it's yeah. become part of who we are now on, on YouTube, we go and have a coffee. So we don't spend a lot, it costs us probably a fiver a go, mm. which when you think a pint of beer can cost that, so it's not a lot really. And we do have a lot of coffee and yeah. tea <laughs> in the van anyway, so yeah. You don't do merchandise. Most channels seem to these days. Why don't you do it? It would pay for your coffee addiction. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't, we never set out to do that sort of thing. Um, you've had some key rings made. Yeah, which actually, we, we give we, away. We give away if we meet a subscriber. And... Subscribers, or if we film a video, uh, video a, a camper van. Whoops, you nearly we, we, That's sort of a bit of a token thank you. Um, so we've never really no, got into that. No, it's it's not us. Um, I mean, I did actually ask on the um, community part of the channel the other day what people thought about it, yeah. and most people who've commented and replied have backed up what we thought actually mm. and said no, don't do it. Um, we're quite happy to send stickers out, but obviously price of postage these days we would asking people to send us a stamped addressed envelope um, if they want a sticker but I'm not going to charge for them no do you have a favorite out of your dogs um, no, no. <laughs> they're all very different characters he so, uh, no, I've got to get your name right who are you now you're the cheeky one aren't you you're very cheeky Baze mischievous mischievous one um, and Rum and Tor are just the old elder the, states the old men uh, no we don't have a favourite and it wouldn't be fair to no. they all they all make us laugh for different uh, reasons they all wind us up for different yeah. reasons but no we're not got a favourite you can see Dab here sat on the, you know being spoiled sat on on the on the seat well that could be but any of them not about half an hour ago so that's, that's Nab now tormenting the elder statesman come here um, about half an hour ago, just before we started mate, filming, we had uh, Tor having his cuddle, and so they all get a bit of uh, the same amount of affection. We don't have a favourite, and they both they all get treats, and they all get told off as well. So, Wrong, uh, no. So uh, yeah, no, no favourites. They all wind us up individually as well, but different times. <laughs> uh, Will you be at any meetups this year? No. Um, we're a little bit stubborn when it comes to quirky. Um, that's just us. We won't pay that kind of money to go to. And I know people are going to come back and comment to us. Ah, but all the entertainment, all the organisation it takes, and everything. Which but it's fine. But we, we we're not into that sort of entertainment. No. Um, you know. Yes. It. It does cost to put on these events, and people, you know, fine by charging, but charging reasonable amounts, I suppose, is okay. Yeah, I mean, charging for dogs, we've got four dogs, and then behaviour bonds for the dogs, which we totally don't agree with, to be honest. But that, that's us. I mean, obviously, a lot of you who are watching will be going. Um, that's that's and your we have, choice. We have been to one or two. Yeah, we've been to a few meetups. Uh, obviously, we did camp off grid last year. We're not doing that this year. Uh, we've had to cancel it because the farm's been sold, um, and the new owners don't want us to have a meetup. We looked at other places, but they started wanting insurance, and and mm. it just got silly because they wanted to class it as a rally. So we decided against organising anything else. And um, again. As we've said about other things, it's time constraints. You only get 20 days off a year, don't mm. you? Uh, obviously, Cornwall we did longer because Keith was actually off sick because of his finger, but we've got too much we want to do in the time we've got. Um, it's nice meeting up with friends. We're meeting up with Pippa this weekend um, and just having small get-togethers like that, but no big events, no big gatherings for us. Mm. I mean, we'll get to meet up with anybody, won't we? Yeah, really? yeah, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, will you ever go to Europe in the van? And if so, where would you like to go? The short, simple answer to that is probably not at the moment, um, because of the 
dogs and passports. Um, situation. So, and I can't see that changing anytime soon. So, um, so it's the hassle more than anything. Long term, yes, we'd love to go. Probably go to France at some point. France, your sister's sister, down in, in, in France, so we'll probably go there oh. if we get the opportunity. Well, um, you, there's too much to see in this country. We keep saying that. Yeah. We're just, yeah. We've hardly touched this country. I mean, we looked at going to Ireland but uh, because it was easy in Northern Ireland. Um, no, no problems with the dogs and things like that. But it's cost prohibitive as well. You know, it's a longish van and it costs a lot of money to get over mm. on the ferries. So yeah, we would still like to do Northern Ireland. I mean, yeah. we just put the good yeah. our book, haven't we? Yeah. We'd and like to do that that drive, yeah. but short term, no. Mm. Uh, but long term, yes. Yeah.